Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. Today let's talk about microaggressions. Now when I first heard this word, I would imagine maybe a year or two ago, I googled it and I could not believe that there are actually people out there who use this word unironically. But as it appears, there are such people and some of them tend to work at the University of California. Now before going into details about the story we're gonna talk about, let us define microaggression. Microaggressions are the everyday verbal, nonverbal, and environmental slights, snubs, or insults, whether intentional or unintentional, that communicate hostile, derogatory, or negative messages to target persons based solely upon their marginalized group membership. So that's the definition of microaggression. I gotta say, if you have a particular social problem in mind, and if that social problem starts with the word micro, that's probably not a big problem. Now, I'm going to read for you guys parts of a list. Uh, this list is part of a speech code or instructions for teachers at the University of California or just people at the University of California governing their speech. It consists a list of statements that they cannot say and the reasons for which they cannot say it. Now. A PDF of this list will be in the description below. I strongly urge you to check out this entire list for yourself. Even though I'm gonna mock it for the next few minutes, you really cannot appreciate the gravity of the problem until you read the full list for yourself. Now, I've just picked out some sentences from this list. It's hilarious because my exchange, my uh, ability to interact with people in America would have been really constrained had most Americans been uh, subject to this list. But here we go, just some of my favorite things from the list that you cannot talk about. Where are you from or where were you born? Yeah, uh, apparently you cannot ask that because uh, apparently people who have pigments in their skin, such as myself, we tend to get offended. We are very sensitive, you see. You speak English very well. I thought it was a compliment, but uh, I'm not smart enough to get into the University of California. You are a credit to your race. Apparently you're not allowed to say that. <laughs> Too much compliments, I guess, maybe. Wow, how did you become so good in math? It hurts, it hurts. You see, when you, when you compliment people on their mathematical skills, it really hurts them at a personal level that you white people just cannot understand. America is a melting pot. I'm not even sure who it's supposed to offend. Maybe it's offensive to pots because apparently not all pots identify as melting pots, maybe. I don't believe in race. Denying the experience of students by questioning the credibility or validity of their stories. So for example, if a student comes up to you and says, hey, I just found a leprechaun and a pot of gold, but if you give me $2,000, I will give you ownership of the gold that I just found. If you question the validity of that story, you are a microaggressor, good sir, or ma'am. That could also be a microaggression. I believe the most qualified person should get the job. Apparently this is offensive, this is hurtful. America is the land of opportunity. I, I, I don't know why it's offensive. Gender plays no part in who we hire. Uh, I don't know, maybe they're trying to imply that the opposite is true. Gender is playing a part in who they hire me. Well, since they believe in affirmative action, I guess that's partly true. And just some of the stuff that I picked, but that list consists of a lot of other kooky stuff. Now, why should you read this? Whether you are on board with this crazy uber political correct bullshit, or whether you're opposed to this, universities get federal funding that are derived from your tax dollars. So whether you like this or not, you are paying for this, so you might as well know what your tax dollars are amounting to. Well, you guys, that's it for this particular video. Uh, I hope you learned something about microaggressions. If you did, leave a like rating and subscribe to this channel for uh, more microaggression involving learning. Take care.